My name is Martial. I work as a PTL for uh, Clamp, and uh, coming I'm coming from AT&T. Clamp is the tool that designs and manages the control loops inside the uh, on-app. Clamp is there to help uh, manage the whole life cycle of VNS in order to um, reduce the burden on the operational, operational people and to react quickly to the issues that will uh, arise on the VNS. At design time, um, Clamp will set up the whole closed loop uh, configuration parameter for both DCA part and policy part. And at runtime, Clamp will get feed from DCA with information regarding the status and the state of the control loop that will be um, displayed on the design part of Clamp so for people to see what is the state of the control loop. At design time, Clamp will query SDC to get VNF and source information, like what are the alarms and counters that are attached to the VNF. And then we'll also use a manually, con manually created template. That template uh, describes the whole um, chain of microservices that will um, be running during the um, runtime of the control loop. It will create and it will configure that template. And once configured, we'll create the policy that will be the action made during the control loop. It will distribute that created template to DCE via SDC. So you push the, temp the configured template, which is called a blueprint. It's a Tosca template. The SDC will distribute that blueprint to DCE controller to be precise, that controller of um, DCE will then have in its repository that control loop definition. Then after that, when the operator is ready, it will first query DCE to check that the blueprint is well into the DCE inventory. When it is the case, it will then trigger the start or deployment of that template to DCE that will be the, the starting point for the actual runtime of the control loop. And during the runtime of the control loop, you will see packets coming from the VNF to the DCE. There will be some analytics computed. And then after that, a decision will be made to trigger a certain policy. That policy will be triggered. And that policy will then execute the action that is contained in the policy. That action can be restart a VM, scale up a VNF, scale down VNF, or even um, whatever action you want to t you want to uh, you can think of that will uh, solve an issue uh, on the on the VNF itself. And the idea of the action is, of course, to stop the the issue that trigger the action itself. That's the whole point of the control loop.